moment later on, and uh, we again we use uh, just uh, shouting the bucket to open form. Actually, this bucket may uh, serve it as twice. This one is talking about the, the, the basement, about the open form. Today is just uh, uh, the single debugger, how, how to use it on the, the profile of the open form. The next we will give the advance of the open form is uh, Z. And uh, you have the scalar or, or, or the variable should be solved and how to use the open form solve it. That's why uh, at that time we will uh, introduce the hot uh, user or develop your own solver. So today uh, just for the open form is kind of like the, the uh, you are familiar with the CFD the, the solver thing. Something as the, the pre-processing like the uh, hot mesh initial condition or boundary condition or, or something like this or set up and another one is wrong in the open form is to solve the CFD. Uh, after you get the results you have to post processing uh, your results. So open form one software package can include all of this. So you just need only open form and all the CFD the Procedures. And uh, what's open form? The background is uh, open form is uh, open source field operation and the uh, manipulation. Actually, it's based on C++ uh, this uh, toolbox. And the open form develop, develop uh, actually uh, at the beginning they want to solve all of the continuum the mechanism problem. Also include itself, but why you know open form the, and the, you suddenly link to CFD is because CFD we have the, the, the large the, the, the group of users. So it means the, uh, the people use CFD uh, almost they use open form. They know open form. Even they don't use open form, but they, they, they know open form. So, the open form is a free and open source software. So this is good so for us. So we can download it and uh, revise it and uh, install it. And uh, it it's, uh, can be run uh, the parallel run. It's uh, based on MPI. So if you run open form, you don't need to consider the licenses. So it can run tens of thousands of the CPUs. It's no problem because now uh, my project uh, is uh, how to uh, enlarge the open form, the HPC, um, Xeon, uh, and the Xeon V for processors. So at that time, uh, I already used open form joining on the whole world uh, 3000 CPUs. It's no problem. So, and the original is the open form. It's great, uh, was created by Henry Weiler. And uh, actually, this at that time, uh, he, he was a student in Chair College London. So he developed the, uh, open, uh, the first open form. Then published it, and people download it and use it, and uh, uh, revise it, and add, add more uh, servers. And uh, more functions, and, and uh, gradually, until uh, now, the open form become uh, very powerful the software package. So, uh, the background is uh, what's the open form uh, solved syn uh, syntax like this. For example, you have the, uh, the partial different equation, like this. Uh, this one we know is a momentum. And for this, we should hot solve it. And if you use own form, just use the uh, just use it, this bottom and solve this equation. And we can see it directly translates from the original uh, equation to 
the the the, 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 the discrete equation, and this is human noise uh, for the time. Uh, and uh, this one is the, this one. Okay. This is it's it's match. So it's correct. And the all all bottoms over you. Where are you? Where are So, what's the purpose of this? The C++ the two box. So, we the one the the advanced feature for C++ is the class. So, where are you? Means if you only uh, you don't know the volume, and if uh, you're familiar with safety, you know this is the finite volume. And I will say, from uh, home home, uh, finite volume calculus. And if you want to simply remember the finite volume in increases, this is increases. So it's very easy to remember. It means this one is class, use the finite volume in increases to describe. Uh, this uh, variable. And this one is used to find the volume in the uh, species to, dis uh, to discrete the, this, the, this variable. So it's quite direct. Right. Good question. Could you have um, changed the syntax so it was F, V, M, colon, colon, right, P? Did you put that? Did you move that to the left hand side of the equation and then have it all equal zero? Like what's it solved properly? Which one? Like mm -hmm. is, here, is this zero? Yeah, if you move that to the left hand side of the equation and have it equal zero, would that work? Or uh, work? yes. Yes, uh, that one works. If you move this to this part, then this is zero. Okay. Just, okay. And does it have to be implicit on the left hand side? Um not have to because you know if for this from this equation we, we know this solve the velocity so if you use uh, uh, implicit this means uh, this screen is uh, un uh, unconditional stable so we use this you you can change this to fvc it's no problem okay. and for the uh, that one is called solve the equation, but you know uh, when you say solve CFD, uh, it's CFD you have set up a case, and solve this case, and you don't perform how to set up the case. You perform normally in case order we have three orders, one is system, one is constant, one is time uh, directory, and normally we, in system we use uh, Control dictionary is control the delta t for the uh, outside flow, and uh, F base t is finite volume with the how to uh, discrete the resolution. Just which which field for you know this one is uh, upwind. First order or second order upwind the scheme or, or so many 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 schemes into this in this graph. So, so have to use the discrete uh, classification and solve it. We use which which methods in, in this file the FVM solution. And uh, in constant uh, the folder we include the properties, free the proper proper properties. For so example you can see this from this one is the row and the new is uh, with the properties including in constant folder. And also, they put the uh, poly mesh into this constant. This one is generated mesh. Uh, they generate the mesh from the idea is from the top to bottom. First, define points. And you, from points, uh, you can generate the, uh, the line, generate the face, and generate the cell, and also set up the boundary. All of this include the polymesh is good. And uh, after that, this time uh, directly, if zero means initial condition. And uh, if the time directly, if, uh, 
of your one, two, three, four, five, or something like this, it is not than zero. It means your solution included uh, in that folder. So, so open form is a little bit different from our thinking uh, about the general self-defense. For, for our general self-defense, the first is generate the mesh. The second is uh, the set up the boundary condition, and the third is the initial condition, and, uh, and the fourth one is store weights, and uh, the, the final one, the final one, it, is you call the results and do the post processing. So why they use this scheme is because the first developer, uh, the person, he uses this, and uh, and the later we don't change this. You just familiar with this thing. It's okay. Don't don't argue with, with this thing. So why well, this thing? Or, 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 or I'm not familiar or something. If you use you some form, you have to familiar with. But you can background you know this uh, is from uh, the safety, which is which. Uh, then you can see. Okay. And uh, if, uh, before you go further, let's just open up some discussions. Yes. Okay. 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 How many of you have not used open form? I have run the tutorial. That's my expertise. Nothing beyond that. Right? So when we presence like that, how many of you have questions? The thing is, does it go over the head and you say, I'm already lost? Or you say, well, no, I think I have open form. Go into a terminal, I can actually set up a problem. And also the, the, the training, uh, the purpose is let you know open form and uh, you know how to use it. Right. So it's even, not even later you will become the expert. About it's it's not to create it's just an awareness. If you go to a seminar, you listen to the people, you get an idea of okay how what is doing. But I think we want to go beyond that. We want yes. to get to a stage where you can actually go and get started with that. Okay. Now it's it's really the file structure and stuff like that. You need to do a lot of work in creating these folders before you run because there is coding involved. But if you look at ANSYS and if you look at COMSOL, they do the same thing. You say on the left part you have all these folders. COMSOL in fact looks exactly like they gave a three, uh, three lectures to an undergraduate introducing COMSOL. And I, I post the problem exactly the same thing. You have folders in these folders. You put information about every aspect, whether it is properties, whether it is math, whether it is physics, all those things. And you don't have to write a single piece of code. You just grab all those things and put it, as soon as you make a choice for the physics, it puts a folder for you. It puts the equations for you. And of course, they both do the discretization, solving, etc. But assembling these folders in open form, we need to do it manually, right? Some of them, I guess, you can copy, that's probably the template that they say. You take an example and copy that, so it gives you the structure as a starting point, and then you go in and change whatever you want to change. Right? Whereas in uh, Fluent and Consul, it's completely great. You're here, everything has to be done on the command line, yeah. in some sense, yeah. and with the text editor. And that's the only difference. So that shouldn't kind of scare you if you see this kind of a uh, folder and I need to create the folder. If you think about it, it's not very different from what it comes out of us. Except you don't have a degree. And there is a company that I met in, um, I think, uh, one of the conferences. They got money from Procter & Gamble, $50,000 or so, just to develop a GUI for open form. And they actually marketed it. They got the license in such a way from Procter & Gamble. They gave the GUI to Procter Gamble. But they also retain the right to market to other people. Now the problem with them is they are always going to be playing catch up with open form. If something underneath changes, they need to change their GUI to be able to conform <laughs> yes. to that all the time. Right? Uh, but it's not difficult to put a GUI. And I think uh, you have put some GUIs for open form. Oh, what was it? No, 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 that was for the foot and the backpack. That was a different Yes, already one. Really two ways. It's free. Yeah, it's they have both the free version as well as the paid version. Paid version. For the paid version, they do modification to the queue. So, oh, okay. Right. So, some of you guys are already. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, there are several subjects for that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But if we ask the open form guys, they say that it's not a good idea to create a GUI for open form. I think that the, the benefit I see with open form is um, you actually get to see the code. You get to see the, the other software will give you an option to user defined functions and things like that, but still it's a large black box from which you access data. Here you actually see the code. One thing that I would like to learn, I think, from you is starting from this level, going all the way to the Euler Euler form, and uh, the, the model. How is the model solved? So how does the solver interact with the model equations? And how do I input the various uh, closure relationships? If, if you can get that, I think most of you, if you can get that first, then you are in good, good situation because you will be able to modify this code relations and uh, set up the simulation Play, playing at that level. It's possible in uh, Fluent too, but I think it's... Uh, let, let's kind of aim and go in that direction to see how far we can go. And just uh, uh, the professor Kumar uh, mentioned the GUI. Actually, for open form, uh, you directly see this and the GUI, you, you don't see it, but the background is, is this. So, if someone is interested in when maybe later one of my, my future projects I really want to do is use the uh, pedal to develop some good GUI for the form, even the uh, post processing. Uh, anyway, uh, it's not long. I, I started the own form from the very beginning. Uh, don't don't use uh, any uh, any config change uh, one. Like just that. if I I, I use the revise the open form, then later you open this the under the open form is different. So it's I have a question. So the control dictionary has these schemes has the solution. All those I need to to have files with that name. Yes. And, and the next page will show the file. And then now it's on. Yes. Yes. Are these all like text files? Yeah, yes. The text file. Okay. Three. Now we go on. This one is the an example. And so this, if you really want to, uh, after this uh, presentation, you can go to check the open form. Uh, open open ID one the, the tutorial you will say this and open it uh, and you can see the, the files. And uh, for the pre-processing uh, we know the first one for CFD is mesh generation. So in open form we have uh, several choice. One is a block mesh, this one generates a very simple mesh. This mesh next mesh it generates the structure mesh. And the newest one is the foam mesh. Uh, this one is just newcomer. It's, this one is to generate an unstructured mesh. And uh, if the first, uh, uh, the, the top three is uh, directly provided by open form. If you think the, the mesh generator is not uh, satisfied by you, and you want to generate the mesh, the, uh, the high quality mesh from the other software is no problem. And uh, you generate the mesh and use this one, convert the mesh to, to open form from the other software. Actually, I give the example like this. I, actually, this one is I downloaded the tutorial from the open form of Fluence. Fluence generated the mesh already. So I use it just to use the uh, the very simple command is uh, uh, Fluence 3D mesh to, to form like the open form automatically read this mesh and also even set up the boundary. It's already everything is simple. So, uh, 
for 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 for, uh, for all of this, I pray for you to use the first one is rock mesh for me. This one, if you open the, the poly mesh uh, folder, this one, this file uh, will be available. This is block mesh dictionary. That's it, it, if you open this, where is the, where is the, okay.
I I I think the over phone is just use the the number or something. No, no, no. This number is not. This sequence is not important. But yes. what you have written in hex zero one two three four that is important. So it's it's important that your vertex zero one two three four when you, when you form a patch, you provide the sequence such that it forms a proper handed face. Yeah, this will be separate the position information and topological information. So the vertex you have just rewrite you, but the topology is controlled by the vertex index. Okay. So maybe if you switch the right. first and second, you have to switch the index. Yeah, right. So you have to test this. This index is important from zero to seven. Yes. If you have provided, say, vertex number three, what is one one zero, as the first in your list, yeah, yeah. it's important yeah. that it appears as yeah. third one here. Yeah. yeah. So this this one should be open, and the zero should be. Defining, yes, you are telling. This is the this is how any uh, unstructured machine software handles. There is a vertex table, and there is a node table which defines a patch, which is a either rectangular patch or triangular patch. So you tell that vertex number five, six, and seven, and each vertex will have its own coordinates. So that's how you save memory. Actually, you you really uh, want to figure out this, and you, uh, there are two uh, documents. In the, and later, I will show you a very document. The place you can read it. And uh, this document, they cover this very clear and give you the the graph and uh, so so this. Twenty 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 is the number of nodes that you need to specify. Then it's right after. Uh, so three each directions. Uh, simple grading is just smooth. The visual. Simple. What is non-simple? Can you have a geometric spacing between the elements? Uh, no, you can only like these are gross or shrinks. Right, so grows or shrinks, so you define the ratio, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. It's one to three to three. From here, yeah. this one. So now it's one, 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 one is yeah. it's uniform. Yeah. Okay, so if you put 1.2 there, the yeah. elements will be growing yeah, in that direction. Gradual, gradual graph. But it will only grow, it can't grow and then shrink back. No, you have to split them. Then split them. Yeah, but instead, like in the newer version, like 2.4, it has the ability to make specify what 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 ratio. So it first grows and shrinks, but never tried out. So I think for the really the complex mesh, you you prefer don't use this and use this as the quantum mesh. Even the form is the function, but you know. Right. I would say if you have to do this, it's better to find a template case from somebody who is working, and then just modify a little bit rather than trying to create file from first line. So next, please. What if you have a cat app? So what can you do with the cat app for the mesh? You have a cat file. Oh, exactly. Yes. You can go before that. If you have a cat bar and uh, red one, you use the snatch hex method. So you have to come out the, the, the geometry to STL scheme. And how do you use the snatch hex scheme? It's not easy. I just see so many, so many things you have to control the parameters and the whole thing. And uh, it, uh, it, uh, it will take a uh, uh, how to say, quite a long time to have, have to familiar this and uh, how to use it, how to control the parameters, generate the very, very high quality you know, mesh to step X. I think if you even you spend a lot of time to learn this, you, you already know, know the, the other software are to generate mesh. I prefer you to use this generate the mesh than use the quantum mesh directly to open for you. Yeah. For example, use the uh, to generate mesh. Yes, then, uh, no problem. 
Ganz nicht so, dass man sich das auch von uns aus gibt. Ich habe es gibt. Eigentlich sehr viele, viele Skins. Just auch. Ich habe es gesagt, 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 And after you, 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 you come to the mesh boundary condition, you set up, when you generate the mesh, you set up the boundary condition, and, and you use the command mesh, the boundary condition automatically set up. You will know, so everything is automatic. So, that's quite good. Sometimes I think uh, that this mesh is not as good cool as the snapshot mesh. So yes, I, I would say so too. Yeah. It's, if, if your geometry does not have very sharp corners, like this, like this or something that flow is very important in tight corners or like that, the uh, ANSYS mesh might be a little better, but everything else, snappy, is a lot more efficient. Yeah, I think uh, some, some, of, some of you are the uh, experts. Who is familiar with snappy text? Maybe, maybe prepare. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe, okay, okay, you maybe prepare uh, one presentation and uh, to, to tell us how to use this. Okay. Okay. I'll show what we did for Shiv Kumar. So because there were thousand spheres, similar to what you are doing, we are trying to resolve the flow inside the gaps between those. Um, the mesh became more than 60 million. So once it goes more than 10, 15 million, it's very difficult to handle with answers. It just says memory overflow, however much memory you have. So um, uh, because you have to go on Linux machine if you want 128 GB or something like that. Their answers doesn't work very well, they don't support it. So it says memory overflow and that's why this was very good because Snappy works in parallel. So block mesh is serial, but that is very fast and requires less memory. And Snappy cuts the block mesh to fit the boundary. And Snappy runs in parallel. And that was fantastic because it could create many, many large meshes. Yes, yes, it's right. And that, if you want to use a Snappy mesh, the block mesh is just a background the mesh. Yeah, you can generate a very simple uh, background mesh. Let's come back. This is latex to, to use this background mesh to generate a very complex mesh. So that's one. When you will be ask the transition. How long does it take to generate six million? Fifty million is easy. It takes about one hour or so. But how many? Uh, Four hundred. <laughs> but if you want to do much bigger, it becomes a logistics problem. When, when you want to put it together, when you run uh, decompose or when you put it together, that takes really long time. So splitting was easy part because it was working a smaller mesh. Then every part grew separately. It's like you took a small bean and then you split in thousand parts and provide it to each one. Then it grows into tree and then you bring it together and you have to build this big one. That takes really long time. Is anybody running into storage problems? No. Need to apply for more storage? No. Luckily for a storage, there is no boundary on how much you use on mic or uh, supermic or anything. There is no bound. Uh, 10,000 files is an apparent limit. But and, uh, 60 days. 60 days. Duration is there. Yes. So, so you whatever you do. But for 60 days. Yes. Yeah, so that Get it out. <laughs> so yeah. Now that's the problem. Now that's, that's <laughs> where it takes real, real long time. Even if it takes half day to put it together, it takes three days to copy on your machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Transferring. Somebody asked me, no, I have it, right? Okay, I just wanted to install this as is in my phone directory, but it doesn't allow me because I have this just this description of five. So this wanted to so But this for home. Yeah. This yeah. 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 What is unlimited is work. Yeah. So installation space is limited, otherwise everybody yeah. will just yeah. home I think goes on the master mode. No, but uh, even work, goes on a separate work is not unlimited. Once I submitted like 20, 30 cases altogether, and they asked me to move. And like I, I follow the code for the first case. Like it, they say it's unlimited, but if you if it's so there's no physical limit to that. Yeah, limit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But that's fantastic. The snappy, you would be amazed at how fast it is for large cases. Yes. And the limit is not dependent on the size. They have this number of files. Yes, so the number of files. That's what I was saying. Size is no limit. Size is no limit. Yeah, I don't know why it is like that. So the acting directly search. Yes, I suppose it has to do with that.
and this line is show you the, the control the dictionary. And for example, application uh, type form is a solver. You need to solver, start time, and the time step. And, and uh, when the results got, and the hot out of this, use this task. And, and uh, you can control the, uh, the output of the, uh, the pre, pre session. And everything is this. Is, this one is important for you and how to control this software. And we, this one is. So the postal processing for open form, uh, it normally we use the pair view. When you install uh, the open form, and uh, the pair view in the folder in the sort of part, if you uh, install it, you use this. After you got the last use the pair form, this command line to open, to open the open form, and uh, automatically you can do your results. And you can go to the analysis uh, or everything used with pair view. And uh, another way is you think, if you think the pair view is not so good for you, uh, or not, you are not familiar with pair view, and you can use this. Uh, the open form, the data uh, transformation to other formats, for example, is open form to VTK, or open form to tech blocks, or form to uh, uh, access to, to, to anything, and, uh, and to, to, to any software you are familiar, just output it. You are familiar software to open and to analyze it. And uh, all of this is uh, talk about the whole CFD processes and uh, another one which we how to install open form because open form is open source. Uh, so you install it, it should be by itself. It's different from the commercial software. So install it, first of all is install at PC. Here I recommend you use Linux. Linux, uh, the very convenient one is Ubuntu. Please use this. First, Ubuntu is open source, always updates. So you can use uh, the and uh, one thing is Ubuntu is free. And uh, because every every year the open form will be upgraded to the newest uh, version. Sometimes uh, the compiler they use GCC also upgrade. If you use open, Ubuntu is quite good. You can uh, at any time you can update. To use the newest CCC and it's open form, no problem. And then if you use the other DNS, it may 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 be got some problem. Okay. And uh, open form includes the the solver sources and the tutorial. This is three uh, the folder is important. And the third part includes the uh, MPI library, and you can you if your system has MPI, MPI library, you, you I recommend you use system. So for open form the MPI we normally use open MP, open MPI, no, not open MP, open MPI. So and another thing so for the parallel running important is partition is the method. Now available is Scottish. Simple one and the hierarchy, and they leave the the space for matches. You just download the the under the matches into the sort of part and install it. It's no problem. And uh, for all of this, how to install it? You can go to the official open form the website. You can follow the command and then you set up step by step to install it. For our use at the class, for example, we use it in the super map in LSU. And one thing is simple, because super map uh, has already installed the open form. So you, you, if you don't want to install it, just use it. Uh, like the, just follow this two step. One is uh, using this command line, soft, soft, uh, environments to, to, 
uh, to find which key, which, which of the numeric key for open form, then put it into your, your dot soft file. Then I will, you can, when you log in the, uh, the super, super nice, this, this file will automatically go in and uh, automatically set up all the <coughs> software environment for open form, just using And one issue is put uh, your this software key before the default key. Because every every user for the subbank subbank probably the default key in your this bank. You just put this uh, so uh, open form the software before this. So they give the instruction for subbank how to use this, how to set up the open form environment. And another one is for our LSU is Sumic. The Sumic has a different uh, manager model for the system, is the, the module. So for Sumic is pretty easy than Sumic. If you just load, load module load of the phone, that, I, that everything is done, it's okay. Uh, for, for the Sumic, the issue is you. If you run in the large scale of the simulation, you have to use the, the batch, the batch uh, 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 script and how to read the how to write the batch scripts and also this website you can read it. And uh, another issue is because you can use it, but uh, for our uh, LS is quite weak, the open form the, the version is quite lower. So if you want to use the newest one, for example is 2.4, so you have to install the open form by yourself. And how do you install it in the cluster? By the superbank, you just open your uh, the file, the soft instance, use VI uh, command and the tools this one is TCC and CMake and open uh, MPI. Just put this three uh, uh, environment the uh, command is okay. Then, then close it, run this resoft, it means update your, uh, your, your soft, 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 uh, soft uh, file. And another, when you start you install the open form, Please source this, source the open form bash, uh, then cd to the open form folder, then this command, uh, this one already inside the, the folder. Just run it and to install it. So it's not so not complex. So but one thing issue is it might take three or four hours. To install, to install, to install three four yes. The three four is made for the compilation. But the code is very long. Amazon has code for compiling very fast. Oh, I see. So it's not a binary distribution. Yeah, but it's not. Also, you do want like this. You want the compilation of parallel those kind of certain things. Otherwise, you'll find it doing as much work on code all those things. You just uh, install open form, it's okay. Then you got a draft, you, you just uh, uh, use the open form to read it or something, you just download the draft to your local company. And and if we are lucky, they will already have GCC and CMA. If you are not lucky, then we'll have to install everything. Yeah, you have to install GCC. Yeah. And it will take one day, two days. <laughs> yeah, so this is And uh, another one is super meek. So Mika is quite good. Uh, everything is newest. So so Mik you use uh, module. Just module out TCC, CMIC, OpenMT, then same as so Mac and source the batch uh, the batch of of form batch, the CD is called and then that one is is same as the so Mac is only for the installation you need three or four hours. If you want to install it, you just install it when you leave the office. And the next day, the new comment is already done. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes.
Provide is small value. Zero point four two five millimeters. And uh, for Jerry, uh, uh, he run in this case, they found that it's, uh, if you use DPM, uh, the, the observation of the software, the mesh size should be larger than the, the cutting size. Yeah. Yeah. So so this is an open form built in DPM or, yes. or is it uh, general? No, 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 open form of the DPM. Yes. So, uh, I think, uh, uh, can you show this uh, before you saw uh, the, the front? Can I get it? Yes. The problem is that like, like for the red hydro, the fluid and the red cell should be larger than the red hydro, right? Yes. Then the first, the first one, the first one, the flow field is not the result. The result of the result flow field is scale of the cell size. But for the small particles, I mean the, the details of flow field, so the drag on the small particle will be dependent on the average velocity of the sun. And the group of small particles will be using the same velocity. Same velocity. All of them. Yeah. And then more particles. Yes. But the drop is usually still by the volume. I don't know, and then the other thing that is uh, thing that concern is that uh, some of those graph models are based on single size particles. The graph the details make very effective in the type of the like this way, but cause it not resolved this way. So I think for this case, uh, it, it will encourage you. Because Jimin, before Jimin, the time is no answer. Just one afternoon. Yeah, just one afternoon. Yeah, so one afternoon. <laughs> he, he can set up this case and run run it out of the draft. So one second. I suggestion, I guess, for those who are curious, play with proper form. Maybe start playing with the built-in tutorial. There is a tutorial that has a turn character. That's what I did. So you copy that and then just go through the various dictionaries and files and go home and I can see what is in there, change it, play with it. So you go through the entire motion of all the characters. I still, what I don't know is what you did to get the DPM part from that. So it needs to show me somehow. Yes. Uh, some uh, kind of yeah, I said uh, maybe later or something. Yeah. And, and, and uh, you have the model. The way that Jenny taught us how to, because he, he set up this, he knows the, the details about how to do, and how to learn. What is the solvent name for this? Solver name? Solver name is DPM form. Oh, DPM. Yeah, DPM. 